Hi, this is Marek from Trip Solo, and today I would like to show you a game called ISS Vanguard. Uh, I have a big pile of boxes that I want to show you. Uh, thanks Awaken Realms for sending uh, me this game for review. Um, and ISS Vanguard is in a way an adventure story-driven game, um, a science fiction uh, um, game, um, but not only story-driven and, and uh, uh, adventure game, but also in a way it has elements of maybe even a Euro game, because the game is divided into, you can say, two games in one. One is uh, the game when you, where you explore different planets, uh, you have your crew and you go from location to location and do the things that you usually do in adventure, dungeon, crawler games. But the second part of this game is the ship management, because ISS Vanguard is a huge spaceship and you have to manage it. You have your crew, you have some you know, research labs, you will develop new technologies and uh, you have to be the captain of the ship, you can say so. So this is the other aspect of the game and you will have to manage all this you know, research crew stuff. You get a special binder uh, that will allow you to feel like a captain. <laughs> I, will show it, uh, I will show you how it looks like uh, when I will show you the game a little later. Uh, but what ISS Vanguard is about? Uh, it's, uh, the game is set up in uh, set in future, where humans had uh, found in the DNA in our DNA code uh, some hidden uh, coordinates, location to a place somewhere on the edge of a uh, galaxy, and with help of uh, all mankind, all countries, uh, we managed to build a starship called ISS Vanguard, and um, the game is about. Uh, the, the ship, the SS Vanguard, who started uh, or is traveling to the location found in the DNA code, uh, alien code, and you know, all the mankind is very curious what we will find there. Uh, I will not tell you what you will find there <laughs> because you will have to find out for yourself. Um, but this is a huge, huge game. What I have here is a base game, uh, Close Encounters expansion with uh, minis. A personal files expansion that is a small add-on for this game and this is uh, wave one of this game because the game was founded on game found and in the second wave uh, of shipping <coughs> they will send the stretch goals and additional campaign that uh, you, you was able to buy uh, during the campaign another important thing is that uh, the pledge manager for this game is open I'm not sure when you are watching it but now we have October 2022 and the pledge manager for ISS Vanguard is open so you can again buy this game or buy some expansions if you didn't buy them earlier or if you missed the campaign you can get ISS Vanguard the full game found edition with all the stretch goals so check it out um, now I would like to show you how the game plays I will not explain all the rules and every aspect of this game because this game is really huge you will see it in a second uh, but my idea is to show you or tell you what this game is about, how this game plays more or less, so you will see if this is something you like or you are interested in or not. So let me show you the game and then we'll come back here and I will tell you my opinion on ISS Vanguard. So this is ISS Vanguard uh, during a uh, scenario, not the first one but the second one. I was thinking how to show you this game and I thought that maybe tutorial scenario would be good to explain to you how to play this game but the tutorial scenario slowly introduces new elements and if I would like to show you everything I would have to show you the almost finished tutorial scenario and I didn't want to do it because I don't want to spoil you uh, the fun there will be some spoilers here like for example this is uh, mission 2, the second planet so if you want to avoid any spoilers you should uh, skip this part of this video and go to the summary um, but I will try not to show you too many things just the things necessary to explain how to play this game uh, I will also not explain you every aspect of this game because this game is huge uh, you have uh, basically two games in one because you have the ship maintenance where you use this binder and you have a lot of things that you will do on ISS Vanguard 
like developing new technologies and research, you can recruit new uh, crew. And you have the second part of this game, which is the planet exploration, where you will use uh, your uh, character miniatures, you will explore different planets, uh, go to different locations and try to complete missions. Uh, so there are so many elements here that I don't want to tell everything. I, I'd rather would like to show you what this game is about, how this game plays and what you can do in this game. So you will get an idea if ISS Vanguard is something interesting or not. Maybe you are wondering if this is second tainted grey just in space or maybe this has some elements of Nemesis. So my goal is to explain you what ISS Vanguard is about. Uh, as I said before, uh, you have two elements in this game. I will start with uh, pl planet exploration uh, because this is the, let's say, dungeon crawler part of this game. And you use a special book. It's called uh, Planetopedia. Uh, it's similar a little to uh, Gloomhaven Joseph of the Lion because you have this book and you open this book on a specific planet and then you place your miniatures on some spaces, on some locations. Uh, sometimes you have empty spaces that you will uncover during a scenario. And sometimes you have some locations are printed on the, on the book. In this book, uh, sometimes you have card, cards that you will have to place on specific locations, depending on the story and things that you will unlock. Mm. In this game, there are no, uh, you can say heroes. It's not like in a typical, I don't know, uh, Awaken the Realms game where you have a hero and you follow uh, the story of this hero during the game. You, you have different sections of these ships, like and not sections, but uh, you can say specializa specializations. You have security, you have science, you have uh, engineering, and you have recon. And during the mission, you have to choose, if you play solo, two of these um, um, type of, uh, of uh, characters. If you play, let's say, a four-player game, you will use every section uh, in, in the planet exploration part. But you will use different characters during the whole game, because uh, people that come back from missions, they are tired and they have to rest, and you will use different characters, new characters, you will recruit uh, new crew members. So the sections are the, let's say, uh, the element that stays but different uh, characters will be used in different uh, sections. Uh, and uh, each section has a, uh, let's say, you can say player board, where you have space for dice, you have three types of dice. Uh, here are dice that can be used, so here are, are dice that are spent. You have space for a um, specific section deck, discard pile for injury cards, and this is a space for your uh, character that uh, works in this section for a specific uh, mission. Mm. It's really cool uh, made because uh, you get sleeves, uh, they have some symbols printed on them and you can see which section is this and which rank of a hero it is. If, the, if this character advances to a rank 2, you will swap this sleeve with a different one so you will know straight away uh, if this is a let's say basic character or more advanced one. Uh, you have space for some charges because every uh, character has some specific uh, special abilities. And uh, you will basically move from location to location and you will try to do different uh, special actions on different locations. Uh, the actions depend on the location. They are usually connected with the story so sometimes you will have to find artifacts, sometimes you will have to fight someone or unlock something or, I know, find, uh, <clears throat> find a tunnel, I don't know, a lot of things depending on the, on the story. And you have two actions every round. You can use them on uh, traveling, you can use them on performing special actions on, on the on locations, you can rest, uh, resting, uh, helps you to get the spend dice back to uh, available dice sections that you will use because if you spend dice performing different tests and different special actions, the dice don't 
refresh at the end of the round you have to refresh them you can say manually and to do it you have to use the rest actions you have to spend supplies um, you have limited number of supplies uh, so you have to be careful which dice you use on different things there is also an action called extortion where you can uh, remove one dice from the game to refresh up to five dice from your spent pool um, so apart from the section boards and the planet board planet book you can say you have a lander um, lander board this is the ship that uh, lets you land on different planets you can uh, add some utilities some modifications to, to the um, lander each lander there are a few in this game they have different uh, they can carry different number of crew um, different number of uh, modifications, utilities, different uh, number of supplies, so you can unlock other landers as well. You can already see that there's a lot of things are going on in this game. And uh, what, what type of special action you can do? I will show you uh, the, the special deck that was used for tutorial. Uh, so on different occasions you have different points of interest and you can do a different uh, type of special actions like for example uh, maybe I know which one outer space and to perform the special actions you will roll dice the number of dice you will use uh, you can choose how many dice you will use and if you have a dice with one of the symbols you can use it and try to roll the specific symbol if it happens you will gain one a success token here on the specific card and then you will gain unique discover one and replace this card with card p000 or if you don't have any of the symbols you can use one of dice in each color to perform the special actions so some characters they have some re regular dice but some of the sections they have uh, some specific dice with some specific symbols and some sections are you know better to do different um, actions on different locations uh, here you have to use a uh, compass or computer symbol to do something if you don't manage to do it and you roll the danger symbol on the dice you will go to lock one one two and some uh, locations have this um, progress track and each for each success you place a cube here and you move this cube one space to the right and to accomplish the special action <coughs> you have to for example here perform this action successfully four times and then you will go to lock 200. What does it mean with, that you go to log? Uh, you have um, logbook. Uh, it's over 100 pages long with a lot of uh, you know logs and story that you will uh, find in this game. Um, it's not as uh, thick as in Tate and Grail but still there is a lot of story in this logbook. So when the game tells you to find let's say log 200 you will search it here and you will read it and you know you will find new things for you sometimes you will get new missions new locations new equipment and you will find out what's going on in a specific uh, mission um, there's also an app for this game that replaces this logbook and it's really nice i will show it uh, in a few minutes um, because the app uses uh, you have some music you have voiceovers for all the text and it you know takes less space on the table because you can uh, install the app on your um, mobile phone and use it mm, but if you are a purist and you don't want any devices on your board gaming table you can use this uh, paper version of this uh, logbook mm, each character uh, or each section also has uh, some cards these are the basic cards if you're uh, section or character um, moves up in, in, in a rank you can use some more advanced cards and this card allows you to do different things like this one you can during a dice check you can reroll one dice but also during uh, dice test during dice check you can spend symbols on dice not only on performing the special actions but you can also use it to match the symbols with the symbols on section cards that you have in front of you and perform this lower action so you can use either cards for the 
upper part of this action or for the lower part if you match the symbol on your uh, dice. Each section uses different cards, so you have some elements of deck building here. There are also events when you use your two actions in your round, you take one event card randomly and something happens, sometimes something good, usually something not that great. You have discoveries that you can discover, like mineral discoveries, alien technology discoveries, strange flora, life specimen, because you are an explorer on different planets and you want to gather as many things as you can. Uh, so this is the planet exploration part. You have a lot of planets. In the top right corner, you have this um, uh, star map, a small booklet that you will use to travel from uh, different um, planet to different planets and then you can land on this planet a lot of things are here <laughs> to, to, to going on and the second part of this game is ship maintenance and this game is mixed like uh, this but you start with doing some things on your ship where you can recruit your crew or uh, develop new um, items or new technologies and then you will land on the planet you will do this planet exploration part and then you will leave this planet and again you will do some things on your uh, ship uh, like the briefing and then you can save the game so one session of IS Vanguard is a little of ship maintenance then there is planet exploration and then there is again some ship maintenance and you can save your game uh, I will show you this binder it's really well done because you have a lot of uh, sections here uh, you start with uh, resuming a saved game of course if you saved the game before uh, then you will go to bridge and you have this cool uh, pages where you can insert card here you have spaces for you for different cards for objectives for bridge upgrade you have uh, and then you go from page to page and do all the things listed here there are a lot of things here but everything is really well explained uh, so you will have no problem understanding everything then you have different ship facilities you can go to a situation room to solve some situations. You can develop new technologies, recruit new crew members. You can product, uh, make um, complete pro production on projects. And then you can, uh, uh, let me show you, um, go to hangar. This is the part of the ship where you will use your lander to land on different planets. There is whole uh, mission land procedure it's really cool because you can feel like a captain of a you know starship uh, that has this binder and has to do different tasks and then you can um, be begin planetary explo exploration and then you can leave the planet and a lot of a lot of things are here but you go from page to page and do everything that is listed here it's really helpful and i think it's a much better solution than for example a second uh, typical rule book and some you know zip bags to store the cards you can store everything in this binder so it's really really uh, cool mm, let me show you this app how it looks like because it's really really cool uh, the app looks like this uh, when you start it you select the campaign right now there's only one campaign uh, the other campaigns will come in the uh, second wave of ISS Vanguard mm. And for example, let me show you one log entry. Good morning, crew. If you're hearing this, it means you belong to a small group of essential personnel waking up in the first wave. Let me bring you up to speed. For the last two years, Vanguard has been cruising safely to our destination. And you have some, as you can hear, you can have you have some music, you have voiceover, you can listen to it or you can just read it, then you click proceed. And the app helps with a lot of things. I mean, it's for me, I prefer using an app. It's easier, it gives me some music, some voiceover. Uh, it's easier to use this than the uh, paper logbook. The paper logbook also takes a lot of space on the table, so using an app is really, really cool. It's really well done. Mm. Also, one more thing, the version I have here, this is the version with uh, sand drop. It means that the minis come uh, pre-painted, they have some wash, the regular version has some uh, regular, you know, uh, grey uh, miniatures. Uh, the ships are also nicely painted, like metallic paint. 
Mm. And normally in the basic game, the base game, the regular version, uh, you get standees for all the aliens, encounters, some equipment that you will place on the planetary exploration uh, book. But I have this close encounters expansion and you get a miniature for every, you know, alien, for every enemy, for every ship that you will encounter. It's really, really cool. They are really, you know, well, well made. They are, you can say, completely unnecessary, but they look great on the table. You have some big, you know, uh, also sun dropped uh, miniatures. And, you know, a miniature like this looks much better than a regular standy. <laughs> but this costs extra, so if you want just, if you don't mind using standees, you can uh, keep the uh, basic version of this game. I also have a personal files expansion, and this is a small expa expansion with 90 cards and a personal files book, uh, another logbook. And for each character in this game, there is a uh, some there are some stories here and some specific character goals but if you accomplish these goals you can replace the basic card with this special veteran card of the specific character which is you know better and gives you more options during the game so this is a cool add-on that adds some another layer to the whole story in ISS Vanguard uh, I hope that you know more or less what this game is about now uh, I didn't want to explain every rule in this game, but the rule book here is really great. It uh, guides you how to start the game. There is the tutorial scenario and the new elements come uh, in this game are introduced slowly. So you have time to familiar, familiarize yourself with every aspect of this game. Um, so don't worry, it may look overwhelming, but when you start playing it, it's really everything is very uh, straightforward and intuitive and you have some you know reference cards and this whole uh, binder for your ship that helps you to do different things so let's go to the summary this is a huge massive big project a huge game and uh, it's really awesome mm. i can say that i love every aspect of this game so far i played two scenarios uh, this is not a review after finishing the campaign rather my first impressions on this game and uh, I really like that you not only explore the planet so you don't only have the adventure part of this game but you also have the ship management part of this game uh, because it lets you you, f you feel and you, you get the big picture of everything you don't feel like a simple crew member who is being sent on different missions but you you feel like a you know i know captain or someone who has to maintain the ship uh, recruit the crew send different crew members to different missions and the cool part is that you don't get attached to any specific crew member because usually in adventure games you have um, a hero and you play this hero from start to, from beginning to the end of, of the campaign and here in every mission you can you know use different crew members so you feel more like a big you know space society big crew and not an individual member this is really cool and the fact that you can develop new technologies and new items and you know new discoveries on your ship and you decide what to do you have this whole binder with spaces for cards and instructions and everything it's, it's really really cool I really like it I also love the exploration part of this game but this part of the game is less unique than the whole space management thing uh, but the exploration is really cool you have you know locations you go from location to location you discover new things you have you know dice rolls uh, you have this big logbook with all the entries and the story and the campaign and the missions it's 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 huge but it's great mm. even though this game is so big and there are a lot of things that you have to do in this game it's surprisingly easy to learn because uh, the rulebook mostly covers the um, exploration part of this game and it includes a really well written tutorial uh, the rulebook was written by uh, Paul Grogan from Gaming Rules and you can see that uh, it's really well written 
Um, the tutorial is really helpful because it shows you how to play this game. It uh, introduces you to some basic uh, aspects of the game and you can play with the tutorial a few rounds of uh, the planet exploration. Then you can finish the tutorial on your own, but it gives you an idea how to play this game. But the whole ship management part is not included in the rulebook, but it's included in the ship management binder. And that's really cool because you have different pages and on every page you have, you know, go, you go from point to point and you have to do different things. You have like, you know, a, it's a, like a rule, rule book, like a, you, you have different procedures for different things and you read them from top to bottom and you do the things that are written there. So it's cool because you don't have to learn it. You don't have to remember it. You open the binder and you, are, and you do what you are instructed to do. It's really, really cool. Uh, the production quality of this game is outstanding. Uh, the artwork, the colors, it reminds me of some, you know, NASA objects, like photos, where you have photos of different uh, distant galaxy, galaxies and planets and stuff like this. It's very colorful, but great looking. You have uh, trays for cards dedicated for every section of this game, for every card, you know, you have this binder, the, the Planetopedia, rule books, uh, notebooks, everything. It's really, really well written. Uh, it's looking, it's, it looks great. Mm. The player boards are, you know, double layered. Perfect. It, it's, when you open ISS Vanguard, it's like opening a, a gift on Christmas when you open different things and you uh, find this and this and now you take up the binder and you see some miniatures and everything looks great. And I really like that ISS Vanguard tells you a story, a sci-fi story, because a lot of adventure games that I have and I've played are usually based in some fantasy medieval setting and it's really refreshing that you have some, you know, uh, sci-fi story. Uh, it reminds me a little of... Uh, um, it reminds me a little of Mass Effect video game that I've played a lot. I'm not sure which part of Mass Effect is out right now, but uh, I remember the first Mass Effect game and it was awesome. And this game reminds me a little of it. You have ISS Vanguard here. In Mass Effect you had this Normandy spaceship. And also between missions you had to do different things on your ship. It's cool. Uh, my opinion can change on, during uh, when I play more of this game. I hope uh, the, the scenarios, the campaign will be just as interesting as the first two scenarios. Uh, you have to visit me on Instagram or Facebook to read my opinion in, in the future about the future scenarios. Uh, but for now I would like to show you the uh, expansion that I have here because I have the personal file expansion. And this is a small expansion that includes some um, a logbook with some you know, entries and some cards. And you get cards for every uh, crew member of ISS Vanguard and you have some additional stories and some goals you can achieve for every character and if you manage to achieve a personal goal you can replace the standard card in the base game with one of these cards uh, these are a more powerful version of the crew members so it's really cool because it adds another layer to the whole uh, story of uh, ISS Vanguard uh, and I also have the Close Encounters expansion and this is uh, expansion with miniatures because in the base game you get only minis for crew members and for the ship as a vanguard all other things are standees and it's really cool it's you know um, you can say a good idea to make the game less expensive because if they force you to get a version with all the miniatures it will be more expensive so if you're not into plastic or minis, you can just get the base game and you will get standees for the alien encounters and stuff like this. But if you like miniatures, you can get the close encounters expansion and you will get minis for everything. Uh, my version of this game is uh, the, the Sandrop version. If you are not familiar with Awakened Realms games, uh, Sandrop is uh, their way to pre-paint the miniatures. They don't paint it with you no know, brush and everything, but it's like a, a speed paint or it looks like a wash. They have practiced with Sandrop, so each game they make uh, the next game looks better and better. Uh, here we have some uh, spaceships and they look really cool. They have this, uh, you know, metallic paint. I'm 
not sure if you can see it, but this looks really awesome. And apart from all the spaceships, you have all the miniatures for all the encounters and you know uh, gear that you will use in this game. Uh, so you have cool trays with all the miniatures, and they look awesome, especially with the sand drop options. Uh, I don't paint the miniatures, so having them pre-painted is uh, you know fantastic options for someone like me. You don't have to use them, you don't need them, but they look fantastic and uh, you know immersion is even bigger when you use the miniatures instead of the standees. Uh, if you paint miniatures you will have a lot of fun with them here. Uh, so this is basically my uh, video about ISS Vanguard. If you like sci-fi games uh, you, you should play it. If you like adventure story driven game you should play it as well. Uh, it's a huge game uh, a lot of things are going on in this game, but it's really interesting and fun and, and engaging. I hope it will stay like this until the end of the campaign. And I'm really cu curious about the other campaigns that will come in the second wave. The stretch goal campaign and the uh, additional campaign that you could buy as an add-on. I don't remember its name, but um, a lot of things are planned for IFS Vanguard. So uh, visit me on Instagram, visit me on Twitter, visit me on Facebook. You'll find links in the description of this video. Uh, click the like button if you like this video, and subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye.